What's up guys, I'm Salty Mike, and I'm here to tell you everything we know about the first edition of Hull Stripping and Repair from the initial days of the Wave 1 PTU. I will start out with the ships. There's two in-game that can currently participate in this new feature, the Drake Vulture, which is a new ship, and it can only be purchased on the website, and the Aegis Reclaimer, which is available on the site and can be purchased in-game. You are also able to utilize this feature at a much smaller scale by using the multi-tool along with a special nozzle attachment and a special canister to hold the Recycled Material Composite, or RMC, as it will be referred to throughout the rest of the video. Before you can start salvaging the hulls of ships, you have to do a few things to prepare. Having a tractor beam is a must. The ships will fill some SCU boxes with RMC, but they will have to be manually moved eventually, and these boxes are too large to carry, so moving boxes will require a multi-tool tractor beam. To get a multi-tool, you can find them at most shops that sell weapons and at most landing zones. The tractor beam attachment isn't everywhere, but cargo decks are usually a good shout to get them. These are located above the major landing zones on stations like Baijini Point, Port Tressler, Everest Harbor, but not Port Olisar. Try Grimhex if you're around Crusader. As of right now, you only seem to be able to find the salvage attachments for the multi-tool at the Platinum Bay shops, which are located on most stations around the system. Link in the description for their locations. You can also get them on Cousin Crows on Orison. Okay, so now it's time to get out there and legitimately salvage some ships. But where can you find them? The most reliable spots are the Lagrange Point stations, and you are looking for these icons. If you don't see any, ping and scan by using the tab key. They are quite easy to distinguish from the mining icons. The word is they're also around the yellow asteroid belt and on moon surfaces. Player ships can also be salvaged, but shields need to be turned off, or you can destroy the ship and it will create a wreck that is also salvageable. Once you find a ship, press M to enter salvage mode, and you will notice that different parts of the ship highlight different colors. This represents the amount of material in this section of the ship. Red equals very little. Yellow is a medium amount. Blue is a pretty good amount. And green is a lot. Now, I have only seen the green sections on what I would call random salvage locations. They have no ship, but there are a bunch of random scraps of metal there. I was able to salvage a lot more material off these faster than any ships that I came across to salvage. On that topic, let's talk scraper modules. There are two on the Vulture. One is the Cinch, which has a very small diameter, but its speed value is quite high, and it's very efficient, almost 90%. Then the Abrade has a very large diameter, its speed value is slow, um, but I'm going to question that, and almost 70% efficiency. Nice. The reason I question the speed is when you look at the extraction rate. It is more than double that of the cinch, so I might be burning off a bunch of material, but I'm filling a 1SCU box way faster. So for now, I'm sticking with the Abrade and prioritizing yellow, blue, and green sections with it. Now there are also two on the Reclaimer. The Abrade has the same stats as the Vulture Laser and the Trawler. This has a very large diameter, almost double the size of the Abrade. It's quite slow speed value, and then it's 64% efficiency. The Trawler is an absolute beast on these random scrap pieces. With the crew, we managed to clean out 25 SU boxes, all while dealing with a few bugs in the matter of about 20-30 minutes. Once you fill the first SCU box, it will eject from the filler station, but you can continue salvaging as another box is being replaced in that station. Once that is filled, you will have to move the filled boxes onto the grid by just removing the ejected box, then manually ejecting the other one. You can also create the canisters in which to repair your ship from this station. Simply click the Create tab and then the Create button, and one will spit out of the salvage tool station and is ready to attach to your multi-tool. For handheld scraping, you have to attach both that salvage attachment to the nose as well as a canister to the base. After that, it's as simple as getting in range, left clicking to begin extracting. To switch to repair mode, press B and left click and you can replace the hull with RMC. Now it does seem like replacing the hull uses a lot of material. It's certainly not a one to one ratio. So if you want to repair a ship, make sure you have quite a few full canisters with you. 
So now you've run out of room or you're ready to collect on your salvage, which is again, of course, legitimate. So it's time to sell. You can sell your RMC at the TDD locations at major landing zones. They sell for 7,700 credits per SCU container. For reference, Quantanium after refining is 8,800 per SCU. And given you don't have to refine RMC, this is actually really profitable if you can find the scrap pieces more often, not so much the big ships. And well, that was my quick 3.18 PTU guide for hull scraping. The PTU will be open throughout the holiday break with the patch going live in the new year. So if you got something out of this video, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know if I missed any info down below and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.